This is Elias walking you through the steps of anterior segment depth examination. So I'm basically going to show you how we look at the anterior chamber depth. So the basic principle behind that is that if you are shining a light from the side of the cornea, you will be able to appreciate the crescent of the cornea and the brown of the iris and you basically guesstimate the distance between the cornea and the iris and that is what is the anterior chamber depth. The other thing that you do is that if you look at the cornea right from the primary position and you shine a light on the temporal limbus, the light is going to pass through the anterior segment and form a crescent on the opposite limbus. Now, if the anterior chamber depth is normal, it is going to form a crescent of about one millimeter, and that is where the ciliary bodies start. If the anterior chamber is shallow, then this crescent is going to narrow down. If the anterior chamber depth is not present, meaning that the iris is right in contact with the cornea, then this reflected crescent or light will not be present at all. Now, if the anterior chamber depth is much high, uh, deeper, then more of the light is going to pass through the anterior chamber and this will become broader. While the patient looks straight, you will shine a light from the side and you will see this crescent which is being formed. And once you see this crescent, you know that there is reflection of the light through and through the anterior chamber and gives that light reflection. The other way to do this is by shining a light from the side and then observing the cornea or, or, or the anterior chamber depth from the very same side from where you are shining the light. So what I have done is I've taken a picture of a patient just so that I can explain that better to you. So if you look at this picture, I'm shining the light from the temporal limbus and I'm also observing this patient from the temporal limbus and I see this reflection which is basically the reflection coming from the cornea. And I am also observing the brown of the iris. And this distance between the corneal reflection and the brown is the anterior chamber depth. Thank you.